I am going to be attempting to melt Rose's metal, which has a melting point of 205 degrees Fahrenheit or 96.1 degrees Celsius. Here is my Rose's metal. On my other videos, I tried boiling water to do, but I had some difficulties with this just a few minutes ago. So now I'm going to be using a heat resistant beaker inside the conventional oven on 300 degrees. And that is more than enough to melt it. 95 degrees hotter than it needs to be. This oven has been running. Its buzzer has already gone off, meaning it is 300 degrees in there. The beaker, which is 100 milliliters, has been in there for exactly 40 minutes, meaning the water must be at that temperature. And that has also told me that this small thermometer in here is probably defective because the thermometer says it is not even 200 degrees in here. The oven I know is not wrong. So this has got to be defective in some way. I'm just trying to get that out of here without touching anything. Kind of hard to do this with one hand. Okay, I got it. I removed this piece because I don't know what that is made of. I don't know if that would melt in there. What I'm going to do now is pour my Rose's Metal into it to see, is it going to melt? Is it melting? No, it is not melting. And this is 300 degrees. I know the water has to be, because that's been in here for 40 minutes. It's not melting, so here's what we're going to try. That's a heat-resistant beaker. It can go up a lot farther. Now I'm going to bring it up to... Four fifty. This time, it has got to do something. Okay, I'm gonna give this another twenty minutes to get up there. Then we'll see if it's melted. I'm not gonna remove the metal. I'm just gonna leave it in the oven to see if it has any kind of effect. Twenty minutes. Since the melting temperature of most plastic is two hundred and twelve degrees Fahrenheit. I am not going to be using that container once the metal is melted. Instead, I'm going to pour it into this piece of tin foil or aluminum foil. Okay, it has been the 20 minutes. We are now at almost 450 because it hasn't buzzed yet, but the metal has melted. For some reason, It took a lot more for it to melt. It is, we can say, at least 400 degrees. It has melted. You can see it's bubbling like crazy in there. See, everything has melted. Now I gotta use a pot holder to pick this up. First, I'm gonna shut the oven off. Pick up the beaker. and pour it okay I poured it this metal does not have any kind of drippage this should cool down fairly fast into a block about a minute later it's now hardened to into one piece you're not supposed to mix metals like the aluminum in this, but I had really no way around it because I didn't have another metal beaker like this and I wasn't going to leave it in there. I finally did get it to melt though.
and that is it. Put all this away. Thanks for watching.